Okay, let's configure the R1 router so that it can authenticate to the WinRadius server, the NAS or network access server right here uh, at PCA, right? So a couple things we're going to need. I'm going to open up this PCA again here. There it is. And there's the WinRadius server that's running. And if you go to settings, we're going to notice a couple things about it. The network access server secret password for the WinRadius server is WinRadius. That's the default. We're going to need this password to access the server. So notice capital W, capital R is case sensitive. Also the authorization port is need going to happen on port 1812. The accounting port is going to happen on port 1813, right? So we're going to need to know that. We also created a user which you're going to have to remember that we created called rad user capital R capital U and then the password was rad user pass and so we're going to need that information also the IP address of this PC right which has the WinRadius server on it is located at 192.168.1.3 so this is 1.3 over here the router is 1.1 so we'll open up the router here and we'll configure it so that it authenticates to that radius server. So I've got the I've got the router open here. Preferences, font size, take it to 16. Hit enter. Type enable, right? Conf T get to global config mode. And what we're going to do is we'll say triple A new model to activate triple A services then what we'll do is we'll say triple A let's set up some authentication authentication login we're gonna start with the default login feature right we're gonna use instead of put a question mark here instead of local or local case right um, or none to start with we're gonna start with group so we'll put in group then we'll put in a question mark and you'll see you've got two choices a radius server or a TACAX plus server here or we could do both one you know one after the other so what we'll do is we'll say a a triple a authentication login default group and we'll say radius and then since we're testing this out and we don't want to get locked out of our router right what we'll do is we'll put a secondary access method of none so if if there's no usernames and passwords in the radius server and that doesn't work we'll just get we'll be able to log in directly to the router now that is a uh, security um, risk because you're basically allowing anybody to connect to the router if you put none here but it's okay when you're just doing uh, testing right so anyway so as a test we'll start with that right and um, now once we've done that we need to put in the um, we need to put in the uh, tell us we need to tell the router where is the radius server so we'll say radius dash server host 192.168.1.3 that's where it's located at the key for the server is win radius right that's the secret password that accesses the win radius server so we'll say enter right okay and that's all good um, we'll do control C and we'll test it out we'll exit hit return to get started and we'll say okay our user is rad user right enter and our password is rad user pass and hit enter and we should be getting some communication we should already be in and we're not in so that's not a good sign right so um, hopefully the none will kick in and it did the none came in and we are actually granted access even though it looks like we didn't authenticate we'll type enable and then we'll do a show run, show running configuration. And when we do that, I'll hit spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. You'll see that the radius server host 1.3, that's correct. But you can see here that the 
authentication port, right, and the um, accounting port are set to 1645 and 1646, and they need to be set from the WinRadius server to 1812 and 1813, right? So we need to fix that, all right? So what we'll do is we will say, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to copy this line right here, copy, and then I'll do a conf t, right? And then I'll paste that in there. And what I want to do is up arrow it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say no space. I'm doing a no radius server host 192.168.1.3 auth port 1645, accounting port 1646, right? And then, this is going off screen here, then key win radius, right? So I'm putting a no in front of that whole line, right? That's going to be important, so I'm going to remove that. Okay, and I'll hit enter, right? So that got rid of that. Then I'll do an up arrow, and bring the command back, and I'll change this I'm using the arrows on my keyboard to 1813 and then I'll arrow over with my keyboard and change this to 1812 and then I'll arrow all the way over to the beginning and get rid of the no and I'll hit enter right now control C copy run I'm sorry, enter, copy, run, start, there we go, hit enter to save my startup configuration file, and I want to double check my startup configuration file by doing a show run, I'll hit the space bar, the space bar again, the space bar again, and then I'm checking this to make sure it's correct. Radius server host 1.3, perfect. Authentication port 1812, good. Counting port 1813, good. And the key is win radius. All right, that should be good. So now if I exit the router, right, hit enter to get started, put in my, pass my username, I should get in quickly. Rad user, enter. And then the password, rad user pass. And you can see that I got in right away. Now I'll type enable. Now I'm in privileged mode. Let's go take a look at our server to see. And you can see here, and it tells you right in the um, Radius server, if you click on and open up PCA, you'll see right on the Radius server that the um, it tells us that we've authenticated with a timestamp right here, right? and it tells you it's authenticated. So there you have it. So that's a very simple configuration to help um, the Cisco router use the Radius server as an external source for username and database and authenticating externally to a uh, network access server.